Hi guys, Vertus Education here with the 16th video of the Unreal Development Kit Beginner Series and in this video I'm going to be going over specular, uh, sorry, emissive material creation. So in the previous two videos I actually uh, went over introducing you to the material editor and kind of what it does, how it works and so on and then uh, creating a basic diffuse um, texture bringing it into UDK and I also went over creating um, uh, specular materials inside of UDK. So having having done that, you should be able to have some basic color to your textures. In addition, you should also have some kind of reflection to your uh, mater uh, to your materials. And in this video, I'm actually going to be going over emissive material creation. Having said that, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make your materials inside of UDK emit light, which is pretty cool. So. Before I do this, I just want to say there is two methods of actually creating your emissive texture maps and both of them have different purposes. So, firstly, um, I'm just going to show you my emissive map which you can actually see uh, inside of uh, Photoshop at the moment. Also, if I go into UDK here and uh, if you look in my scene, you can see that I have some nice lovely emissive lights here. Firstly, I've got these little fluorescent tube bulb things. In addition, I also have uh, this Virtus Education text which is lit up relatively well and looks really, really sexy and that's kind of what I'm going to be teaching you how to do in this video. So, the two methods of uh, creating your map. So firstly, you can have um, a full color sort of emissive map uh, or you can just do it all grayscale. Uh, grayscale is good, however, you can't necessarily have... Um, different uh, colors inside of your grayscale. So the first method is just to have, you know, everything all black in the background, which you, which you don't want to be lit up, and then just have whatever you want it to be emissive on your UV, uh, you know, all colored as you want it to be lit up. And you can actually see it works pretty much just like that inside of UDK, where, you know, obviously I've got my white stroke and I've got my nice gradient Gre uh, sorry, gradient orange effects for the text. However, the other method is to do it as a grayscale, where you just have one color and then just adjust the whole thing um, according to the color what you want. However, the only problem with this is that you can only really use one flat color if you do it in this method, or you're gonna have to use a mask, which is an additional texture map, which uh, it's just gonna be a, a you know an annoyance. So I'm only really going to be teaching you this way, which is essentially just having all your different colors on one map and uh, just bring it into UDK and uh, then just multiplying that to bump up the uh, the brightness up and down however also if I get time I will actually go over using this texture map to uh, uh, create your emissive that way so I'm just gonna open up my material ed editor here and also want to apologize for the somewhat low FPS uh, at the moment uh, th that is due to the fact that I actually sold my graphics cards I'm using my onboard chip just a quick uh, just a quick reminder I've already brought in my um, emissive texture, you know, you can go download that and bring it in if need be, and looks exactly like how it is inside of Photoshop. Just open up my material and look at the base setup for my emissive. Basically, all I've got is, uh, you know, the multiply, uh, it's basically just multiplying my texture sample, which is very similar to what I did in my emissive setup previously. So, I'm just going to quickly delete all of this, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, run you through it as I recreate it. And as you saw there, as I actually deleted um, my emissive material, uh, sorry, my emissive texture, you could actually see that this, uh, you know, stopped being all bright and uh, dandy and stuff like that. So I'm just going to quickly, uh, quickly press apply changes here, and you'll see the light will go away from my block, and it looks pretty crap, to be honest. So, uh you can definitely see what the emissive does. So I'm just going to quickly bring my emissive material, uh, sorry, my emissive texture back into into here by selecting it and pressing T as usual, and it will bring it in. And I'm also going to bring in uh, a multiply node along with just a one vector uh, constant. So let's just drag that in, and I'm going to hook it up to emissive, and I'm just going to hook up my texture sample to that as well. And then next, I'm just going to hook up my nice, lovely um, 
constant and you're gonna see it's not uh, emissive just yet until we actually set this uh, value to at least one if we was actually to hook up our emissive texter straight into uh, the little into the little you know receptor thing here it would just be by one having this multiply actually just allows me to increase the brightness of uh, my material which we'll see when I bump it up to five crazy bright and it's probably going to rape your eyes um, in the game there we go that's not really what I like so I'm just gonna put this down to three as uh, that is fairly reasonable and there we go that's pretty much everything you need to know about uh, creating your emissive textures this way also I did promise uh, to show you this way as well so this is pretty much what I got I've just got a grayscale emissive pretty much everything that I want to be lit up is all white and the rest is just black because you know I don't want it to be lit up at all so I'm just gonna quickly save this out onto my desktop and I'm gonna bring it into UDK and uh, show the sort of setup and uh, the disadvantages of using it this way so I'm just gonna call this GG and uh, I'm now gonna go ahead and import this into UDK okay there we go I've got my emissive texture GG and uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring it into my material. So let's just get this up again. And I'm just going to select it and press T if I can find it. Okay, so let's get this in here. So if we actually delete that texture sample we had from the previous one, and I bring this in and just hook it up to B here, you can see it's only really one flat white color. And no matter what I do with this standard constant here, it's always going to be white. Uh, it's always going to be white because that's the only sort of color that's actually on my texture map. There's no variation or anything like that. So I'm going to be deleting this, and I'm actually going to be adding in a new constant free vector, which essentially allows me to adjust the RGB values of the texture. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to 1, 1, and 1, first of all. And it'll just be like multiplying it by 1. And uh, I can actually tweak some of these values so I can give it some extra blue, I can give it some extra green, red, or whatever you want. So let's just go ahead and turn this up to 15. Uh, my blue to 15 and you're going to see it is really blue and that's kind of how I adjust the color doing it this way however keep in mind if I do this I can't necessarily uh, adjust different areas of this emissive texture map which I have and I'd greatly advise just making sure you have all of your colors perfect and right inside of Photoshop um, as I have done uh, here if no wait what I toggled you off what are you doing Okay, yeah, there we go. That is kind of how your texture map should look. So that's pretty much everything for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget all the textures uh, I use are actually in the description below in a download link. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.